Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of others. So what I wanna do today, guys, is update you all on the whole Spotify ad process. I recently did a video talking about how you can go about setting these ads up for yourselves, and I finally have some results to share with you guys. I recently got the chance to run one for a client, so I want to share his results with you all so that you can determine if it's something you want to incorporate into your marketing campaigns going forward. With that being said, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Spotify's ad studio platform. Now, what I wanna do is kinda go through each of these terminologies and explain to you guys what they mean so you can better determine if this is something that you want to add to your own marketing campaigns. So right off the gate, we have ad served and reach of ad served. And basically what that means is this is how many times that your ad has been shown to someone, which is the ad served. So as you can see, the total number of times your ad was delivered to Spotify users and the reach of ad served are how many different people actually saw the ad. So for instance, for this particular ad, it was shown 4,600 times with about 4,500 different people being the recipients of the ad. And that further comes down into the the average frequency of ad served, which is pretty much the number of times that each unique person that saw the ad has been served the ad. So for this ad again, that means each unique person that's come through and actually seen this ad, whether it be through the mobile platform or through the desktop platform, has seen it about one time. Um, and then you have clicks, which is pretty self-explanatory. This is how many total times that people have actually clicked the ad to go to whatever it is that you're advertising. And your CTR or click-through rate is it's pretty much like a math equation. So your CTR is the amount of clicks divided by the reach of the ad served. So for this ad, it would be the seven divided by uh, the 4497, which gives you a 15% click-through rate. Um, so down here, this pretty much shows you how much money you've spent out of your total campaign budget. So for this artist, you spent the minimum, which is 250 and $77 has been spent so far throughout the campaign. So he's reached 4,500 people spending only $77, which isn't that bad, guys. It's actually a pretty good uh, bang for your buck as far as like ads go. And then we have just the other basic information. So your audience right here on the right side. Uh, this artist was a Latin artist, so his target demographic it was a uh, Spanish-speaking country, so we went with Spain with the 13 to 30 age demographic, all genders um, in the Latin genre, all platforms. If you need to go through the process of setting that up and seeing how this goes to actually get to this point, go ahead and check out my last video on how to set up a Spotify ad. I'll make sure to leave the link for that in the video as well. And then you can come back to this one so that way that it'll actually make a little bit more sense to you if you don't really know how to get through this process. So just jumping back into it, uh, this section down here pretty much just lists all the creative ads access of your ad that you had to create. Now, going through this process, guys, I do want to give you a little piece of advice that'll keep you off from going through the same headache that I went through while setting this up. So first off, this is pretty much the, the ad that we ended up getting ran. So when you're running an ad with Spotify, you have one or two options. You can either create the voiceover ad yourself, or you can have someone at Spotify do it for you. I recommend getting it done yourself. You're not allowed to run an ad unless it has a voiceover script on it. So what I would do is go out to like Fiverr, or if you have a pretty good speaking voice yourself, record it yourself, just so that you have a little bit more creative control over how your ad sounds, because once Spotify gets a hold of it, they'll kind of like impose their own restrictions on it. Or not really restrictions, but just from me going through the process, it doesn't seem like they follow directions very well. So I would just recommend getting the voiceover script done for it yourself. And then on top of that, I would just always have a list of your target audiences and demographics laid out. So that way when you're going through the process, you can move through it a lot more quickly, set up the ad a lot faster and get it running a lot faster. And also pretty much what I've gotten from this so far is it doesn't seem like it necessarily gives you the best conversion rates. Meaning as you can see, 4,500 people have actually seen this ad, but only about seven have clicked through it so far, which the number could definitely go up. Cause like I said, it's only a small percentage of the budget that's been spent. But the fact that they get you such visibility makes me think that what you will want to do is include this in a much larger campaign so that way you're increasing your own visibility so that way if you're hitting your target audience on all these social media platforms and Spotify as well so let's say that you're running Instagram ads and then that person comes to Spotify and then they see your Spotify ad and then they go and listen to a playlist and then they see you on the same playlist so you're coming up for their related artists it pretty much just adds to the overall visibility but it doesn't seem to be the best 
to necessarily drive traffic to a song. Now, as I do more of these, I could probably expound on it a little bit more because it could just be the demographic of this ad just isn't really hitting who it needs to be. You know, maybe 13 to 30 could be a little broad. His target audience could be 18 to 30 and we could be wasting money trying to hit the other people. That's how it always goes with ads is you kind of just got to test them out first and then narrow down your demographic as it goes. But like I said, these Spotify ads seem to be better as part of a much larger campaign instead of being the sole campaign for the money and all of that. So yeah, guys, there it is. Like I said, I just wanted to come back and revisit it. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions. I'll definitely answer them for you guys and help you all out. All right, guys, so there it is. Those are the results from that particular ad campaign. If you want to learn how to set your own up, go ahead and check out my last video. I made sure to leave that link in the description below. Now, as always, guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see you next time.